goodness, we've got more snow today. So lucky we're inside nice and warm all together. So what have we got for you today? Well, we have got more Strive news, which is really exciting. We've got a memory of the day and we're also going to be doing a Chinese New Year craft. So let's get on with it. news of the week and let's start off with Carrie Ann's art class where they made a beautiful bird feeder. Mary Monago made an especially nice one that she hung in her garden and she was so excited to tell everybody in a later class of all the birds that had come to visit. Take a look and see now. Birds on it. Yes I got five cardinals. That's awesome! This on the bird feeder you made? Yeah. That's so cool, Mary. Awesome. And now on to our theatre and film class. Now, I take this class each week, and each week we look at a different musical or film. And this last week, Sam Sassanen asked me if I would do a class on Phantom of the Opera because he loves it so much. Well, we had such a lovely class, and Chris Daly actually bought in to show us a mask which is very similar to the mask that the Phantom wore in the film and in the show. Take a look and see now. Well, I thought it looked like one of those um, masks from the plague. Absolutely it does. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. So where did you get that from, Chris? Um, New Orleans. Oh, you got it from New Orleans? Ah, oh, during the Mardi Gras. Now, for those of you who aren't that familiar with Phantom of the Opera, here is a little bit of the music for you to listen to. Now, as I told you, Sam Sassanen was so excited about seeing this and he was especially especially excited about one particular actress. Have a listen and see who it was. Sam, why do you like, what do you like in Phantom of the Opera? I like the Sarah, Sarah Brightman stuff. Sarah Brightman, you like her voice? Yeah. Isn't that exciting? Well, I'm going to show you some of that later. Sarah Brightman is the one who plays the female lead in it, and her voice goes up really, really high, doesn't it, Sam? Yeah. Wow. And on to President's Day. And it was President's Day on Monday, wasn't it, guys? So Carrie Ann did a fantastic class on President's Day where they looked at all the different presidents that there have been in the USA. Take a look and see. James Madison and George Washington are the only presidents who signed the Constitution. James Madison was the shortest person at five feet, four inches tall and weighed 100 pounds. Mm. Oh my God, tiny. And on to the day of love and Valentine's Day. Well, the group homes had celebrated this in such a wonderful way. At Ridgewood, they had wonderful packages made and delivered to them, which they were so excited about. Have a look. And at Clifton, they also did some lovely artwork and cut out and designed hearts, which they stuck all over the wall, which was really beautiful. Have a look and see. Continuing with the theme of love, and Carrie Ann also did a wonderful Valentine's Heart Project class. They painted some beautiful hearts, and I really want you to see what they look like. So let's have a look now. And on to Christina's class this week. She did a fantastic class on waterfalls, and she found a 
fantastic and amazing waterfall in Patterson. Who would believe it? Not so very far from us. So once this pandemic is over, guys, we will have to go and visit it together. But take a look at it for now and see what you think. So this is the Patterson, New Jersey waterfall. Do you guys like it? Yeah. <laughs> it's very different from the Niagara one we watched before, right? This one's a little um, bit different. And now on to our lovely paint and sip class. This week we painted a very difficult painting of the New York skyline in the style of Van Gogh and his Starry Night painting. Well, Jimmy Hogue did a fantastic job. Have a look and see. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed all the news. Keep doing wonderful things and I'll update you again next week. on to our activity. Now, we've just had Chinese New Year, haven't we? And the Chinese people celebrate their New Year in a very special way. They have lots of traditions and lots of things that they do together. But one of the really wonderful and exciting things is that they go out into the streets and they dance with this huge puppet of a dragon. Have a look and see. <laughs> This is what we're going to do. Now, here in front of me, I have this face of a dragon. And this is a template, actually, that I'm going to send to all of you on the mail so that you also have it. And now I just cut it out, okay? So what I want to do next is I'm going to color it in. So I'm going to color in all the face in red and the eyes in green. So here goes. Now that looks quite fabulous, doesn't it? So I'm just going to put that to one side for now. And I'm going to bring in some pieces of paper that I actually cut earlier. Now you need some strips. You need four in one colour and four four in another. It works best if you just use two colours. Now you can see I've used black and red here. They need to be exactly the same size and exactly the same length and width. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. I'm going to take one of each colour to start with and I am just going to stick them together. So I'm going to take my glue I'm going to put a little bit on the end here and I am just going to stick the red on top. So the two corners are together. Now just let's make sure there's enough glue on this side for it all to really stick down nicely. So I'm just going to hold that for a second. Fantastic. Okay, now what we need to do next is a little bit tricky but it's totally possible. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold over the red side and then I'm going to fold up the black side and fold over the red and fold over the black and I'm going to keep going until I finish the entire piece of paper. All right so when I finish this then I'm actually going to just stick another piece on the end here so I'm attaching the next bit and on the red I'll attach another red okay and I then I'm going to continue with the process So 
here it is finished. Now you can make yours longer if you want to, but if I open up, you can see. Wow, that's gonna be the body. That looks great, doesn't it? Okay, now I've got my tape and I've got my dragon's face. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stick my dragon's face to the front of this zigzag. And actually, I'm going to do double back sticky paper here. So I just, you see, folded it over so it's sticky on both sides. And I'm just gonna stick it onto the end there and stick the dragon's face on the front. Ooh, look at that. It's starting to look like a dragon. That's cool, isn't it? Okay, next step. What are these? Chopsticks. Okie dokie, so let's open them up. This is exciting, isn't it? I like it when it all starts to come together. Now, I have two chopsticks, I'll just open them. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stick, I'll just turn it around so you can see, I'm gonna stick one of the chopsticks here to the back of the dragon's face. Okay, there we go. Make sure that it's really done strongly and it's not gonna fall off. And then another one on the back, on the very back here and make sure it's in line with the other one. So I'm just gonna take some more tape and I'm going to stick it over like so. Oh my goodness, I hope it's gonna work, let's hope. All right, fingers crossed. So now I'm gonna pick it up and I'm gonna open it up and whoa, whoa, whoa! Isn't that cool? A beautiful Chinese dragon. Have a go and see if you can do it too. Today's memory of the day. I thought it would be really nice if we could look back on a memory of something that we all did together at Strive. Now, next week it is going to be Dr. Seuss Day. And do you remember Dr. Seuss Day last year? We had so many wonderful activities, one of which was the Crazy Hat Day. We made wonderful hats and then we had a parade all the way, all the way around the building. Well, let's have a look at it now. strive in the virtual program people are doing such wonderful things and wasn't it so lovely to look over the memories from the past we'll be making new memories soon so until next time have a wonderful weekend and bye for now